I call this model fifth wheel Hannah Montana because it really gives you the best of both worlds. Let me go show you why. This here is a 2023 Grand Design Solitude 376 RD. And you will be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen here. So you can take a look at kind of what the layout and design of this fifth wheel is, as well as the specs on this model. It is a huge fifth wheel. Definitely recommend something like a one ton dually. So a 350, 3500 dually to tow something this size. It's a 101 inch wide body construction and it is long it's probably about 43 feet or so we'll take a look on the sticker here in a second so it's a big fifth wheel now when i say that you get the best of both worlds most people are looking for this perfect combination of all of the interior living space that gives them plenty of room inside plenty of space plus separation from the different rooms within the unit and they want the most possible exterior storage space so that they can take all their belongings. And this fifth wheel here does it better than just about anything else out there. So let's go through and start taking a look at this fifth wheel. First of all, molded fiberglass, one piece front cap up here, no windshield in the front cap. And so it's gonna be one molded fiberglass piece, LED lights up in the front cap as well, and an LED light here, where your pin box is at. Comes with a Moride pin box, so getting one of the best pin boxes you can get right out the gate, standard from the factory. That's gonna give you a smoother ride going down the road. Really like that your switch for your LED and docking lights right here has a little rubber cover on it, so it will protect it from any debris coming down the road. And first exterior storage compartment we get up here is going to be a wide open space where your batteries will also be stored. You have some of your hydraulic fluid in here as well, and then your solar charge controller and inverter up there as this does have solar on the roof. But nice big space there, and that's kind of where we're just getting started. This is a full profile fifth wheel. So what that means is you're going to have a flat roof line all the way along the top. Um, there's no slants coming down anywhere in the roof line in this model. And you have a drop frame construction. So down underneath here, the frame is dropped down. This is going to give you a bigger storage space for your pass-through storage up front. Plus love the touch of the LED lights underneath here. I think that's a really practical feature. Thinking of all the times my family's been out camping, the amount of times we just throw stuff under the fifth wheel, especially at night being able to see that stuff, very convenient. Propane quick connect line here, 30 pound propane bottle behind this door and another one on the other side. But I really wanna jump quickly to the storage space. Slam latch doors on here and then down underneath here. Look at all this storage space in the pass-through storage. I mean, it is absolutely huge. Um, this model is going to compare nicely with a front living fifth wheel. Front living fifth wheels historically and uh, almost always have a very limited storage space up front. A lot of them don't even pass all the way through that they're because they're so confined. This has a huge space here and we are still just getting started. But you have central vat connections here as well. And then you're gonna have um, TV connections here if you wanted to mount like a TV or something out in this space. There are some mounts that you might be able to get it to come out far enough where you can swing it outside or you can set something outside on the table. You do have a quick access panel to your different compartments. Behind here, it's gonna be mostly ducting and water lines. So you can see all that back through here, quick access to those components there, but all your water lines and some of your heat ducting through that cavity there. So nice to have a quick access point. Lots of fifth wheels out there that do not have any sort of quick access built in to that part of the fifth wheel. It involves unscrewing things to get to that portion. You have aluminum framing here, nice thick aluminum frames, and then welded on both sides of the frames on this fifth wheel. Battery disconnect switch and tire pressure monitoring system there. Central vac hose, 50 amp power cord reel, and a outdoor shower connection there. So that's your second storage compartment. Absolutely huge. Two speakers here, awning up over the space there. Then you're going to have frameless windows on this solitude. While we're here, we might as well look at it. Hopefully a lot of y'all don't skip over this part of the video and aren't already at the inside portion of the video. But 
MSRP on this is 148,594, and you can see McLean's just had their 60th anniversary summer sales event marked all the way down to 115,760. So that gives you an idea of how much RVs come down off the MSRP price. So if this is your first time looking at a video, or maybe you've seen some of our other videos where just the MSRP was listed because that's the only information I had. Now here's where we can actually see the sales price there and how much they come down off that MSRP. So. 115,760. If you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help you, and we are here at McLean's RV Superstores in Rockwall, Texas today. But McLean's has five different locations, four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. And if you live in any of these areas, we are here to help. You can text us at the number on the screen, and we want to help make sure you have the easiest possible process with finding and purchasing your next RV, as well as a great ownership experience with your RV as well. As a lot of that will be determined by the dealership you buy from and how well their support system is, which we believe McLean's is one of the best in the country, which is why we are here. Down underneath here, you have a Cooper H-rated tire. So this is one of the best tires you are possibly going to find on a fifth wheel RV. Um, hardly any other fifth wheels out there will come with an H-rated tire like this Cooper tire here. And then you have a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system, six point hydraulic auto leveling. You can see the LED lights even extend beyond that drop frame portion there and you have a spot right here to store your sewer hose as well. Down underneath the fifth wheel, you're gonna have a fully enclosed underbelly, spare tire underneath there as well, and then all your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation, above the enclosed underbelly, and you do have 12 volt heat pads on all your water tanks, so not only will your furnace keep your water tanks warm, but you also have 12 volt heat pads for an electric heat source to keep your tanks warm as well. On this side, outlets here, and then look at this more storage back through this space. Look at how big this is. You could probably fit a full-size mattress back in this area, slide it all the way through. It is absolutely huge. Not saying that you could sleep on it, but you could fit it back here. That's how big this space is. Outlet here, motion activated lights on both sides, a power cord reel for your power cord when you're traveling on that side as well. And then we have a storage tray off the back here. Now I believe this storage tray is about eight feet long. And if I'm incorrect on that, I apologize, but it looks longer than six feet, but shorter than 10 feet. So I'm gonna say that it's eight feet long on here. It looks just about. And you have some storage on the sides as well that's framed in with the aluminum framing. So you'll be able to access that from the side doors there. And this is going to just be a huge space that you can really utilize. Plus you see the separating cargo net there. That can be taken down if you wanna extend items further back than eight feet. If you have something that's 10, 12 feet, whatever it may be, you can um, disconnect that net and have the ability to store that back here. That also can hold up to about 800 pounds on there, so a nice weight capacity. And this does have a towing hitch off the back, believe it or not. So this is a 3,000 pound weighted hitch with a four pin connection, so you can technically tow off the back of this fifth wheel as well. We're gonna come to more of the outside here after we go through the inside, but I really want to hop inside and show y'all what's going on on the inside. Now that we've seen all the storage space on the outside, let's show you the other side of the best of this both world scenario and go inside. So this is a Solitude 376 RD. Now, if you skipped it earlier in the video, cause you're one of the people that just skips right to when we go inside, we already talked about the price. So you can go back if you want more details about this pricing breakdown here. But we are at McLean's. You can text us at the number on the screen if you are interested in this RV. If you are anywhere in Texas or Oklahoma, we are here to help you. So as you walk inside, you have your kitchen in the middle. And now this is going to be a rear den model. So there's two different types of fifth wheels out there in the market that have this sort of design. There's a front living model and a rear den model. And some fifth wheels will make one or the other. Uh, most fifth wheels make some sort of front living, but not all fifth wheels make some sort of rear den. And there are a few others out there that I've seen, but I really think this uh, Solitude executes on the rear den model better than just about anything else that I've seen out there. One in part just having all the exterior storage, but another part is the bathroom that you have in this rear den model. I'm gonna get to that in a second because the big differentiating factor between a rear den and a front living that a lot of people often come across is when you have a front living model, that's gonna mean you take this living room that's here in the back, see how you have this nice living room set up here. When you go and put that in the front, when you put that living room up front, take the bedroom that's up here and move it to the back, typically you get a full bathroom along the back wall of the fifth wheel. That's going to give you a nice 
big bathroom. In fact, when you get into the Solitude 380FL, it has an absolutely enormous bathroom. It is even bigger than the bathroom in this model. So that is something where people want this living room with the biggest bathroom possible, front living all the way. However, you don't always get the same amount of storage space, whether it's the side of the sliding tray or just the amount of storage space down underneath here, because your bathroom is back in this area and they gotta run plumbing and whatnot from that bathroom that gets in the way of some of that storage. So this gives you more storage on the outside with the um, condensed size of the bathroom. I had to really think of that word there. It gives you a condensed size of a bathroom a little bit. And um, if you want a bath and a half, Rear dens don't have that option. You'll find that in front livings where you usually get a little half bath here in the kitchen area, but not in the rear den. So that's kind of your breakdown of the difference between rear den, front living. Um, let me know in the comments, do you prefer a rear den or a front living model? And you know, maybe something in this video will change your mind one way or the other as well. So we're gonna go through the kitchen relatively quickly because the kitchen really is not the highlight part of one of these units with this layout, but you do have a table here. It is a legless dinette table. Two of these chairs will fold up so you can put them under your bed or in the closet, whatever you wanna do. And then you have a nice solid table here. Um, you can look at some of the grand design specs here and some of the things that they really point out. One thing I like is all three ACs are ducted together. Just because you see three ACs on an RV does not mean they are all ducted together. Usually the third middle AC is just a drop down AC that's not ducted into the system. This one is. Um, looks like, uh, what else is on here? Some of these are options, so I don't want to say anything that may not be on here. But uh, you get the Rockford Fosgate audio system, so that's great. The Cooper tires, and it is a 101 inch wide body construction. So that makes this fifth wheel very big as well. There's some comparing models out there that are in a similar price range, maybe a little bit less expensive, that are like 96 inches wide, where this is 101 inches wide. Does make it a bit heavier, but gives you a ton of space. Really like how they designed this portion here and they did a good job with maximizing the storage space because one critique I do have of this model that I'm not a huge fan of, especially if you're thinking like full-time RVing, is this does not have a pantry. So as you look around, you can see no designated pantry space in here, but you do get lots of drawers and cabinets, which we'll see here. This is going to be a bit of a shallow drawer here and then these two down below it will be a bit bigger, but don't go back quite as far. And then right here, you're going to have a non-centered stove. So kind of interesting, they went off center with the stove and oven, pushed it to the right up against that wall. Again, can let me know your thoughts on what you think about that, but that does maximize your storage on this space where they can fit in the two drawers here and give you more space for storage here. If they would have centered this here, they would have had to split this into two and then wouldn't give you quite as much working space there. Down underneath here, you can see they run their outlets underneath the cabinets. So we see that same thing done over here as well. And I don't think I showed this space here. I can't remember, but little storage there. Same thing with your microwave being off to the right. That kind of opens up this space here and then storage space there. And I apologize for the pace in my voice. It is over a hundred degrees. I think we're kind of in this spell in Texas where we have you know, we're, we have multiple weeks straight of 100 plus degree weather. So even with our generator ACs on and whatever, it's still hot and miserable, but we just keep working through it. So we are here to make sure we deliver these videos to you regardless of the weather. So if you appreciate that, make sure to hit the like button down below and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. You have a full size residential microwave and then you have the Insignia four burner stove and oven. So giving you that biggest stove and oven combination that you're going to find in a fifth wheel RV with the four burners there, love the way that looks. Island kitchen here, they do off center the sink to maximize your countertop space on one side of that. Sink covers here, this is a solid surface countertop. You can see there's kind of a half split stainless steel sink there. Solid surface countertop and a geometric looking faucet there that definitely stands out and looks different than most other fifth wheels. Down underneath here, outlets, LED lighting underneath your island, looks really nice and elegant. And then you're going to have Drawer here that pulls out, and drawer here that pulls out. Interesting how they made that second one so, so much bigger underneath there. Right here, you're gonna have storage down through this space there. And finally getting to your refrigerator. It is a Samsung residential refrigerator here. This talks about how grand design, I'm gonna talk about this as I open up and show you the fridge. 
Grand Design does a PDI or pre-delivery inspection on every single RV that is built in their facilities before it leaves. So that is something that not all RV manufacturers do. If you're looking at Grand Design and comparing it to some other brands out there that seem like they should be in a uh, you know, considerable price range that is competitive with Grand Design and maybe the Grand Design is a bit more expensive, that is one of the things where you have to keep in mind Grand Design may be investing more money into a program like this that the other manufacturer you're looking at does not, which could account for some of that price difference. But they check and go through about 130, 140 point inspection, something along those lines, to every single, oh no, 300 point inspection checklist to every single RV that is built before it leaves. Whereas most manufacturers only do it on like every 20 RVs that they build, every 10, something like that. But every single RV they build, they check. Already have built-in protection to make sure that these don't open up while you're going down the road. Storage up above the refrigerator. And then this space here, definitely going to continue expanding upon all your storage space in this fifth wheel. Going to have three shelves there, nice big space. And then this one here, even bigger, extends out a little bit further and then two shelves so you can fit some bigger items in there. Feel like that was a thoughtful design so that they could really maximize the storage space without a pantry, giving you that two shelf and three shelf system right next to each other. A Little bit more shallow storage underneath here. And then down under here, you're gonna have a spot for your trash can and breakers and fuses, and then two drawers that pull out. So that is everything in here. Um, this is going to be a nice looking backsplash. It's not like tile or anything. I actually don't know exactly what the material is, but it is framed out nicely, outlet underneath that cabinet. And I totally forgot, window here in the kitchen for more natural light and real tile backsplash. So love that. That is everything in, oh, I didn't look up. Gotta show you this too, the light fixture with LED lighting up above that fixture as well. Three ACs in this RV again, and you have a max air vent fan here in the kitchen as well. So then that brings us up to the front living room where this front living room, or see, and I'm just so used to looking at front living fifth wheels, I said front living room and it's not a front living room. This is a rear den. So rear living room, you have two recliners here directly across from your TV, pull out sofa here that will make into a couch. So that's a tri-fold sofa going to make into a nice size bed there when you need it. Same thing with this one here as well, going to make into a nice size bed. And you know what? Let me just show you because I feel like I don't do this enough and most people looking at a model like this usually want the bed space. So let me show you kind of what this is going to look like to make into a bed. Usually so easy I can do it with just one hand. And then flip this down. So not too terribly difficult. Definitely see the grand design difference in quality. If you do this on a lot of other fifth wheel RVs, this is not all going to match the furniture uh, texture here. It'll be like more of a black kind of fabric material that's different from this, um, I guess well, it's a fake leather, it's not real leather, but whatever you would technically call it. But this here, they match all the fabric all the way across, gives you a nice bed here. And with how far this sticks out, it comes right to the middle of the RV. So I'm going to guess that this here is actually going to make contact with this one here. And I guess we might as well go ahead and see now because we're halfway committed to that point. Let's just go ahead and find out, will it connect? So take those cushions off. Again, same thing. Hopefully this one doesn't bite with me as much as the other one does. Ooh, almost wants to fight with me. Oh man, these are difficult. I decided on these hot days in the summer, I'm gonna do the most for y'all. Oh, they don't quite touch. Not quite. They have a little bit of gap there between the two. But I'm glad I did that. I did, I'm glad I didn't just stick with saying they will touch when they actually don't. So you have a little gap there and you'll have your two beds here. That is what this space will look like. I'm a little out of breath because it's so dang hot. So I'm going to stop the recording and we're gonna pick back up after I put these back into a bed position.
The great thing is that really is so simple. It took me less than 45 seconds to do. So really not difficult at all. And then directly across from your TV, you have your two recliners here. Let me know your thoughts on the sofa color as well, because this is their lighter color of sofa option in solitude. They also have a, another option that's more of like a kind of grayish brown color that's gonna definitely be a lot darker in nature than what these are here. You're gonna have the power recliner on these and let's see if it'll lay flat with how these are positioned right now. Looks like the butt kind of scoots out, which is going to, looks like, give that room to fully recline. So it doesn't actually lay all the way flat, but pretty dang close. And that is a pretty comfy looking seat there, again, directly across from your TV. So let's get into these areas real quick. Let's go through some real quick construction points. First of all, love that you have a wooden framed out window on these solitudes. So all your windows have these wooden frames on them. Looks much more residential. These don't stick out as far as those balances that you see on a lot of RVs. And then every window has a pull down blackout shade. And this frame still does a pretty good job of blocking out that side light that will creep in. It's not a perfect 100% job, but it's pretty dang good. And then as you go around this side here, you're gonna have nice lights on both sides of the TV. Retractable TV, this will go up and down. That's gonna give you a nice big window all along the back side of the fifth wheel here so you can get a view of your environment when you want it. I love how they discreetly put the speakers in this space and I wish I could kind of peel this back and see how many speakers are in here. But with how big this space is, it feels like it could be a dual speaker system and they are just nicely concealed, kind of looks like a well thought out, finished kind of home theater sound system. So really like that. Storage across the top, so if you're full timing, you get that extra storage space all through here. It's actually split in the middle. So you can see. So you can see here, you have your sound controls with the Rockford Fosgate audio system and the switch for the TV lift. Plus you have a USB port there. Kind of an interesting spot for a USB port. I would imagine that's connected to the sound system. So if you wanna plug in a phone to play music, then you have a little shelf up there, you could put the phone. But it also will have Bluetooth, so you don't really need to do that. And then you're gonna have another small storage space here. Down underneath here, you're gonna have symmetrical storage on both sides, so pull out drawer there, and then storage down underneath here, and you will find outlet here as well, and then that is identical on the other side. You're going to have a electric fireplace. This is an electric heat source for you. This and having a heat pump in one of your ACs are going to be two different electric heat sources for you where you really might never find yourself having to turn on the furnace unless it's getting, you know, maybe under 50 degrees at night. But if you're in that like 50 to 70 degree temperature and you just want to take the chill off the air, I mean, just turning on your electric fireplace, the heat pump in the AC, you're gonna be able to get this thing warm without even needing to run propane. And then I wanna show you something interesting on here. This fireplace actually has independent control of both the flame light and the crystal light. So you can really make the light setting whatever you want it to be. Kind of neat feature where, you know, everybody has their own preference for what they like. This is actually one of my favorites right there. But actually I like the lighter blue that they have instead of the purple for the rock light. So I get a little bit more customization with that that I do appreciate. On your sofa, it's going to have cup holders on both sides and you do have storage space through here as well. And then outlet here and then no floor vents in this AC. So you can see a heat vent right there actually. That's going to be how they duct this heat through here so you do not have any floor vents in this fifth wheel. Finally, more storage here, plus a nice big window here. This is gonna be great for seeing out into your environment while you're just sitting here on the recliners, enjoying a movie, enjoying your morning news show or sports show or whatever you watch in the morning. And you'll be able to see out your window, see your environment that you're camping in. Love that. Storage here as well. So really maximizing that storage. And then finally, if you have people sleeping up in this area, privacy curtain that goes all the way across for a nice finishing touch there. As we go this way, controls for your ACs here, you can see even with the two ACs running, it's hot in here. It really is. I mean, you gotta run all three ACs and this generator that we have, it kind of struggles running three ACs with this uh, um, solitude. So that's something to keep in mind. We have a 9,000 watt generator that plugs into the 50 amp plug and sometimes running all three ACs triggers that generator to shut off and something happens where it just doesn't get the right power supply. So. 
something to keep in mind when you talk generator sizes. Uh, central back system here, again, this is another thing where if I flip that up, I've had that shut off the power to the generator too. Um, so I don't want to flip that up, but that's like a floor sweep so you can get rid of your dustpan and you can just sweep everything into this area, flip it up and it'll suck it into your step for the central back system. Here is where you connect a hose for your central back system. So this fifth wheel does come with a hose that will reach the entire interior length of the fifth wheel so you can vacuum it out. Access to the storage through here. And then another thing I really like about Solitude is you have multiple ways to control this fifth wheel. Manual switches for slidings and, or for, <laughs> I was trying to say awnings and slide outs at the same time. For slide outs and awnings, and you have manual controls for tank levels and things like that, also for your tank heaters and your water pump. But you also have the touchscreen control panel that'll link to your phone, so you can control your RV from this touch panel. From here, you also have manual switches for all of your lights, but you also can control them from here, and you can connect to your phone, so you can also control everything from your phone. So love that. You can be standing outside your fifth wheel, and you can control your slide out and awnings from your phone, or you can come in here and do it. Also have a coat closet here, so a nice hanging rod there to hang some coats as you walk in. Handle going up the steps, and you have a motion activated light right there. Nice big window in this hallway, letting in a ton of natural light. And then check out this bathroom here. So this is where I was talking about a lot of these rear dens. They oftentimes have an underwhelming bathroom setup, where it's kind of the same bathroom you would get in a much shorter size fifth wheel, where Obviously, they're condensing down the bathroom size because it's shorter. This one here, you really don't feel like you're compromising on the bathroom size at all, getting that dual vanity set up. And then Grand Design has one of the best looking shower setups you will ever find. They have this shower system here with four different shower heads, one of them being the uh, detachable wand here. You have spots for soaps that are screwed into the wall there. And then you have a molded fiberglass one piece shell here. So no seams in it and it goes all the way up to the roof line. If you haven't watched enough videos, most RVs, they cut this molded part right about here. So you have exposed wall up to the rest of this point. Love that it just goes all the way up to the top of the wall, protects that side wall a little bit better. You have the skylight there for extra height. And then you really get the most maximum height in this shower because they drop the tub down to floor level. Again, if you just haven't stepped in enough RVs, you might not notice this difference. But if you go back and watch a lot of my different videos of different brands, you'll see a lot of times the shower actually sits about right here and you're literally losing about eight inches of height. I don't know what Grand Design does different to run this plumbing down beneath the floor level, whereas other manufacturers don't. They extend it up and leave this space underneath here to run the plumbing. But Grand Design gives you a ton of extra ceiling height because of that. As I step in here, I'm 6'2 with my shoes on. My camera is at eye level and you can see I am underneath that shower head there. You can actually see in the mirror here, have plenty of height even on my tiptoes. I don't touch the ceiling right here. So this alone has got to be like, 6'6", six, six, I would say, probably be 6'8 and 6'9 and fit in this shower. And it is just a really, really comfortable space. Love that. And I really do like the option that you can either have the seat down or if you want more floor space, you can flip it up. So that's a little bit better in my opinion than having like a molded in seat that is permanent that you can't move. Hooks here for towels. You have medicine cabinets on both sides. So you'll have that and then same thing on the other side. Have your sinks here. And then you're going to have lots of storage in this space. So three drawers that pull out, two smaller ones, one bigger one, and then identical storage on both sides. I say identical, I better check and make sure. Yeah, identical on both sides. But that's not all the storage. You also have more storage here. So on a full towels and whatnot, they will easily fit in these shelves here and then two more shelves down here as well. Love that. Definitely want to know your thoughts, what you think about this bathroom, because this is something that really stands out in this fifth wheel. And if you don't know why it stands out compared to other models, definitely go look up either rear living or rear den fifth wheels and see the difference in this bathroom. You'll find a lot of those videos on my channel as I've probably made over a dozen videos with rear den and rear living fifth wheels. You're going to have a king size bed in the bedroom. And the best thing about the solitude bedroom, especially compared to other models out there in the market is really this closet. This closet is one of the most well thought out closets that I've seen in a fifth wheel. Most fifth wheel RVs, their closet looks like they just kind of left that as an afterthought to maybe one day we'll do something cool with it. But for right now, it's just kind of going to go out 
as it is and we're not going to do anything special with it. But that is not the case with this Solitude where they built in all these shelves here. Great for either shoes or folding pants. Maybe you fold your shirts, put them there, whatever you want to do. More shelving off to this side as well. Still get a full body mirror here that will come across to this spot right there. Have a shelf up above and your clothing rod there with support in the middle. And then right here, this is going to be where washer dryer connections go. You have the shelving in there or you can take that out and washer and dryer can go in this space. So you can do a stackable washer and dryer. As we rotate to the bedside, I want to check underneath here real quick. And you have a little bit of storage space underneath there, but I'm actually looking for outlets. There they are. Outlets and USB ports right there. Would love to see a USB type C charging port there. Um, unfortunately, still haven't got to that point. It might be 2024, maybe even 2025 before we see that standard in RVs, but who knows? RVs are always so far behind in the technology space, it's ridiculous. Down underneath the bed, I really like how you have two pull-out drawers that are accessible, whether you have the bed up or not. Very well thought out by Grand Design. Also have some hidden storage right here. Again, nice use of the space, and it does have this... Um, little strap there that helps that from opening all the way and just flying back on you. And then more storage space there. Also has cutouts in the corner so you don't bang your leg on a sharp corner. So appreciate that. Uh, mattress isn't great. Honestly, it's a pretty standard RV mattress. Uh, this actually looks like the exact same mattress that came in my family's Keystone Cougar fifth wheel that is a much less expensive fifth wheel, but yet still get the same mattress. So something you might want to upgrade there. Outlets, USB ports on this side as well. And then around the bed, you have a nice looking headboard, windows all the way around. And let me know what you think about these tables or these side tables here, kind of extending out into your sleeping space there, but you have those on both sides as well. Finally, you have your TV in the bedroom. Love that this already comes installed. It is a Roku TV, so it's a smart TV. You have hidden storage here. Great for uh, accessories that you do not want people to easily find. And then you have six drawers that pull out in this bedroom. You have a door here, spot to install Wi-Fi router here if you want to install a Wi-Fi router. And last point, you do have a magnet catch right there. So it does actually catch the door and hold it open for you. So also appreciate that. That is just about everything in the uh, inside of this fifth wheel. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like. And if you're interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help. If you live in Texas or Oklahoma, we are McLean's RVs. They have locations in Texas and in Oklahoma. And if you just want to have the most simple process with buying your RV, we are here to help. You can text us at the number on the screen and we're going to make sure you have a great time purchasing your next RV and a great ownership experience with your RV as well. So text us if you are ready to start seriously shopping or if you really like this RV and we're here to help. Now let's go take a look at the outside. As we finish up going around the outside, you can see there are two solar panels up on the roof. So I believe that's going to be the option for the two, I think they're 330 watt solar panels, if I remember correct. It was on the sheet inside, so we can go back and rewind to the video in there and see. But I think that's two 330 watt solar panels. If not, they're probably 200 watt panels, but I think it said 330. You're going to have, again, the towing hitch off the back, ladder to get up onto the roof, and you are prepped to add a backup camera as well if you want to add a backup camera. Again, connections here, or not connections, doors to get into the storage space down underneath here. And then as we go along this side, you're going to have your 50 amp power supply connection here, tankless on-demand water heater, so you're going to be able to take those longer showers, plus use hot water in the shower and in the sink, stuff like that at the same time. This will last as long as you have a propane supply because that is powered by the propane. Down underneath here, you can see your black tank and gray tanks all come to one central spot on the RV. So no dual connections, no Y connectors or anything like that that are necessary. And then as we go along this side, I really love that you do not have to duck underneath anything to get to your water connections. The way these doors open up, have the Nautilus water management system here, very confined and concise there. You have water filtration system already built in so love that as well and then you have your full tabs for your black and gray tanks there you're going to have auto leveling controls right here in the door this door swings open all your doors have magnet latches to hold them in place and then storage space down through here as well and this is a climate controlled space as well and then that is pretty much everything on this fifth wheel rv if i missed something let me know down in the comments below 
Let me know what you like and don't like in the comments below as well. And we're here to help if you want to purchase this RV. Again, we're at McLean's RV in Rockwall, Texas. And if you are interested in this RV, McLean's has five different locations, four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. We partnered with McLean's because we truly believe they are one of the best dealerships in America to purchase your RV from. Not only because they carry great products like this Solitude, but also because of the people that work here, the service that they provide and the experience we believe you'll have when you purchase your RV here. So that being said, we are here to help. You can text us at the number on the screen if you are interested in purchasing this RV. And we wanna make sure you have the easiest, most comfortable experience with purchasing your RV. So text us at that number if you're in Texas or Oklahoma, and we look forward to helping you. Until next time, live firmly unbound.